tie again. Hi everybody in stream. Ready for two hours of racing? Or you accidentally clicked on this video and you thought it was Fortnite. I apologize. Yeah. I just shamed them for watching for an extra five minutes, so we're good. second class out on track, but um, they call it Corona, apparently. <laughs> Alright, as they come out of the bus stop, they will start doubling up. It's a lie, they didn't actually catch Corona, just the two of them didn't show up, and I'm the third, so you have me as a comic. Doubling up. Lucky Rufus, what's your team name, by the way? for my stream and not <laughs> my mic. <laughs> yeah, yellow flags, guys. Right, I believe everybody will be caught up. Yeah, I almost asked him if he wanted to do it this season, because he asked me if we were going to do another one. Kind of quiet for a while, so. Single file restart, try not to pass before the start finish.
missing the late start in your bow tie is to teach her you. And into turn one, single file this time. Power on, everybody's spaced out quite nicely. Bow tie with a decent pull out of the corner there. side of Forte. Looks like he gets the pass done. Let's go back in the pack just a little bit. Let's see what's going on back here. Looks like you got a side-by-side -side battle. Lagged out of the party. Okay, well then he can jump back in under, uh, under pit stops if we have to. Yeah. Yeah, I even got it and I'm just inspecting. So Forte gets bullied out. The outside, Lucky trying to sneak his way by. Can't get it done. Lucky looks left onto the braking zone. Forte in prime position to keep the spot. Looking to the inside of Rufus, the sister car to Lucky. Lucky gets the power down around the outside, getting the pass done from GT car Forte. Uh oh, that's Lucky spinning all on his own. Back out on track, came back on track in sixth. Looks like he's back under power. but that front pack, front pair, two McLarens doing well out on track. Rufus and Bowtie now going at it out on track. Rufus looking on the high line, trying to get that side draft. Hey Jimmy, we were just talking about you if you wanted to pace car this season. You're more than welcome to if you feel like. Well, not this race, obviously, because it's already started. But for the rest of the season. Oh, side by side with Bowtie on the outside. Into turn one. Looks like Rufus gets the pass done. But will it stay? Bowtie looking at the inside goes a little deep. Rufus does an over under with the power down. Both of them go wide out in the corner, roof side by side, out of the International Horseshoe. Heading towards the kink at mock speed. Can't see what they're doing because of reasons. Now that popped up, get that out of here. Oh, the stream! How could this happen to me? Again. 
that, we'll just have to chat up. Rufus trying desperately to hold off Bowtie back through the field here. Lucky making up a little bit of ground after his little stumble on lap two. Oh, looks like we got a pair together here. Looks like we got Master Fun Sponge and Racing Meta together on track. Fun Sponge at the front of this thing in ninth. And all carbon fiber livery of that BMW. Oh! Mineta with a little tap there on Sponge, but both collect it quite nicely. There is. There is a Turner BMW at the moment. See him there all the way back in 12th right now. Oh, Smoke's getting squirrely out of the International Horseshoe in that Aston Martin. There you go, the 96 car out on track right in front of Killjoy. Thank you for the follow, Julian. Much appreciated. It is a good looking car. CPS Diablo has both of the Turner cars shared, as is the Aston Martin by him. Killjoy doing some Ken Block action. Yeah, towards NASCAR 3 there. Or NASCAR 1. Wrong side of the track. Jump up the field. These guys are starting to spread out just a little bit. Rufus really putting the stretch of his legs out front now. Bowtie with the fast lap in qualifying. Top four. Four or five guys for both of the 154s. Qualifying. So the battle is really close between them, but speed differences that McLaren definitely has the top end on this track where the, the BMW and the Aston Martin have a lot more agility to them in their base. So the rest of the tracks, it's going to be a much closer battle. Yeah, there is a touring car, I'm actually in it, and then our two other drivers that have registered for TCR uh, couldn't make it tonight, so I decided to do a uh, old school commentary for this race. So you just have the GT4 slash GS machines out on track right now. Rufus not really pulling any more ground from Bowtie in the last few laps. Same story for HR Forte. Diablo in the shadows there. Any mistakes done by those top three if they're to capitalize? Jump back to back. We'll take a look at all of the beautiful machines. Lucky making up a position from sixth now to fifth after his uh, lap two, I guess technically lap three excursion on the restart. Put in some work to try and catch the leaders. Yeah, you're more than welcome to stay. We've got the ZR1's machine. Camaro. Rebel Rock. Racing Camaro. Yeah, we haven't done much racing in the paddock sim racing as of late. We took pretty much half a year off. A lot to do with the whole COVID thing, as we all are. Reorganized ourselves. We branched out to a new game. Uh, we are now in a set of Corsa as well. Xbox only, of course. Uh, but we do have PC. 
see as well. It looks like a car struggling back here in the back right now, which looks like Smokes had a bit of an issue with Killjoy. I'm not sure if they got together or whatnot, but they're both back under power, right behind Type RS. RS. It is Turner BMW. Well, so far. Um, the Audi is available. Uh, to drive, um, but no one actually has the car here uh, or has registered for it. Uh, if I was going to be in GS, like I'd originally planned, I was either between the Aston Martin or the Audi R8. Both are very fast, very agile. I like how they pull out of corners quite well. Black and some major. It's like they're about to get to each other on track. Yeah, so last night we actually had our first event in Aceto Corsa. It went very well. We didn't stream that one because we didn't know how things were going. We're still kind of figuring things out. Uh, we have a permanent server. For the paddock sim racing at the moment it is uh, on spa which is our event number two so that will be a good one to watch uh, so we have the, the ability to stream it Ooh, black cr1 up the inside of chim major looks like we lost a driver as well i think it was country yeah it was country big country is a DC that is unfortunate but we'll continue with this battle right now the Chimajor going around the outside and his Aston Martin side by side into the braking zone that looks like country is lagged out Audi as well. It sounds good. It's very fast in a straight line. Although we nerfed it. The OP to the other machines, but as we did the McLaren. But it is a lot of fun. A lot of fun driving. We did a very good job. Yeah, we're 25 minutes in, so unfortunately it's the 15 minute. Unfortunate, but can't do anything about it at this point. We'll be uh, scored DC points though, so it's not for nothing. Diablo had a little bit of incident. Now Lucky going around the inside of Diablo, gaining another position. Lucky doing a great job coming back through this field after that little scuffuffle. These two are still aren't far behind those top three. Probably a good uh, 10 seconds behind them. Anything could happen. A lot of time left on the clock. With only about 25 minutes down on the counter. CPS Diablo as he goes hot into the bus stop, collecting it. Quite nicely to stay off the tail end of Lucky there. Made it work. Back on board with our leader right now. FRA Rufus. Coca Cola McLaren. Got a few other cars. 
cars that are in the GS field but aren't registered for are uh, the Mercedes, which was a popular one last season, and the Audi we were just speaking about, Audi R8. Those are some very fast cars that I'm surprised aren't here on the grid. So uh, we have a whole other class in this series, but they're not here this weekend. Uh, the TCR field, which is the production cars. We're not actually using the actual race cars that Forza has because they're a little too fast in the real world counterparts. So we built the production cars, which is the Alfa Romeo, Guilette, or however you pronounce that crazy Italian the Honda Civic, uh, the Hyundai Veloster, and the Audi uh, S5, I think, the wheel drive conversion, it as well. Yeah. any position to each other at the moment. The top three is McLaren, McLaren, BMW, FRA, LSEM, and GTR. All of those boys in Fast Boys teams honoring us with their presence. It's not all about that. It's all about the racing. Oh man, you have a couple cars in the back who are doing it door to door. Black Zero One still all over FRA Major. Putting in some good work. Well, the Cayman is in, uh, is in the series. Can I not mention that? Yeah, it's also in, in the series, the GT4 Cayman. We also had to, uh, nerf that one, just like the McLaren and the Audi. Lots and lots of testing was done in the offseason. Thousands upon thousands of laps. That's not an exaggeration. Laxy R1 with the big, big nose dip there in the West Horseshoe, trying to get as much ground as possible under braking the fat tires on that machine. It's a little bit heavier, but it's got the grip to manage it. Well, everybody joining the stream as well. We were probably a good 35 minutes into a two-hour race. You see on the little map there, the bottom left, we're Uh, yeah, I can't see the time because I'm spectating, so I have him posted, and Champ is my main man, so he'll let you know, or he'll let me know. Looks like we got a little bit of distance closure with the top runners here. Rufus still out front in his McLaren. LSEM Bowtie, who was in your pole position for the start of this race, dropped one as they head through the infield, through the kink. Still in second place, third place at the moment, GTR Forte in his mobile BMW. A lot of fun to drive on the shorter tracks, but I thought it was a huge pain to drive on these long running straights. He's doing a great job at keeping it, keeping it up in class. 
Uh, technically, Jimmy, both classes are GT4, um, just because we had to split power groups uh, for the Mustang, the BMW, and the Porsche. I believe we're all in 20% power restriction, and the rest of the field is in 35. Just to balance power to weight. Yeah, the, uh, the TCR field will be green and yellow once they hit the track, probably at Sebring. Which we are still actively taking driver registrations for both classes. It is not a prior to season running, you can register at any time in between any races. That being said, these races are pretty quick, and there are some pretty specific rules and regulations. All can be found on our website in the link below, or on our Discord, which I believe is also in the link below. If not, I can put it in the chat later. Looks like have a bit of a battle here in the back again with Smokes, Killjoy, and I believe that was Type RS. RS, I keep saying that. RS. Type RS going off wide into the dirt. Through the king. Collects it quite nice. Oh, Killjoy. Off the track in avoidance. I'm not sure there was a, little, a touch between them. There's definitely a bit of a racing incident. Both losing a little bit of ground. As well. Type coming back out in front of Smokes, though. So he didn't lose that much time on his off track off-track excursion. Yeah, yeah, the Camaro still still races. Yeah, one. Two on track, I believe. Here's the other one. Here is, uh, Vendetta and his Camaro. He's doing pretty well out there. It's new to our series. Bowtie is about to be under attack from an angry BMW. And we are at the 135 mark, or 145 mark on the timer. Pits are now open. We'll see who dives in pit lane first. No, there wasn't an accident. Um, the two drivers that are here, uh, uh, fifth and fourth, were up front. These guys all up front, basically fifth. I guess, I guess technically sixth and forward are all. I guess you would say are like more experienced racers, so they're a little quicker and more consistent as the guys in the back are uh, at this particular moment. You know, less experienced, a little less consistent. I'd rate myself as one of those drivers as well. Naughty boy, I hear on the radio. We'll just ride up front with uh, the front guys real quick for a while.
FRA guys are putting in some work. I'd like to see that pace. like Diablo is in pit lane as is Lucky. Bring back up the map. Lucky. Chamajor in pit lane as well. Here goes Diablo out of his pit box. Fortunately we don't get to use. don't get to use the full pit lane here. It kind of just throws you back out in the middle of turn one, so you got to be real careful of the cars that are coming up behind you. Got a, it seems to be a scuffle back here. Looks like these guys dropped back in the field quite a bit with Smokes, Type, and Sponge, but they're probably having a blast as well. Just look at them good. Alright, a few now have done their pit stop. each other left and right, but I keep missing it. Smokes with the speed on the banking. I'm sure he's running absolutely no arrow. Top three still out on track. Only about a half a track in front of them fourth place at the moment. Ooh, big dive on uh, Sponge or Type. They're basically side by side going through two and three into the International Horseshoe. Nose to tail, bit of a tap, lock up from Smokes on the outside as they're about to go three wide. Yeah, the TCR cars are much slower than these GT4 builds. Not by much, though. These guys are probably doing about 154, 155s out on track. Um, the TCR field was doing about 203s, 204s for lap times. So they're not crazy different, but they're pretty, pretty similar to the lap times you'd see in IMSA. tried to get him as close as possible. Forte now up front. Bowtie looks like he made his pit stop about a lap ago. in P. 
pit lane at the moment. This killjoy. Still in third. Oh, well, it was Bowtie in uh, Forte at switch spots from that pit. We'll see what happens. Because I hope it was a pit. like Rufus and Forte both in pit lanes they have early pit boxes so we'll see where Bowtie comes out on track looks like there he is coming through NASCAR 4 as so they're leaving their pit boxes who's gonna come out in the lead as they will meet in turn one still on the pit limiter Rufus out in front but Bowtie does not capitalize enough to get out in front of Rufus. They are back together out on track, and it looks like Lucky made up a decent amount of ground since the start of the race. He had dropped back to fourth after a lap three incident all by himself. And now... work to come back up the field. Type going, heading towards the grass, managed to keep it on the black stuff there. Yeah, we can run with Rufus. I will allow it. The FRA main man up front, look at him go. comes across the line, 76 McLaren, hard into the braking zone for turn one, heading out wide, a little off the apex, but still manages to get good power down, as Bowtie hot on his heels still, heavy braking into the International Horseshoe, just kissing the apex, rolling into the throttle, now full power, heading down towards the kink. Dirty word. Back under the braking in the West Horseshoe. Another weird, kind of late apex corner. You want to go out wide and cut the corner late. The best run down here in the. I don't even know what this corner's called, but it leads you out to NASCAR turn one. Get that corner right, you can gain easily a second, second and a half heading into the bus stop. Upshifting as quick as possible through NASCAR's one and two. Find the right braking zone, dive into the bus stop, kissing all of those beautiful rumble strips on your way out. Nicely done. Keep it clean fast as they head through NASCAR's three and four. Back under heavy power. And back across the line we go. That is a full lap on board with Sir Rufus, race leader.
Trump. stops. We are on our middle stint. Next pit window will be uh, from the 45 minute mark, I believe, as I wrote down. Yeah, the 45 to the 30 minute mark. The race will be over at 15 minutes till we don't have a timer because Forza, naturally. So I will do my best to uh, Relay track length left to you guys. Yes. Fourth, all the way back to seventh. 7th and 8th are right next to each other. They just look like one dot to me. Both the Camaros have found the same bit of track as Racing Veneta. Looks a little racier into the bus stop. Black ZR1 puts the power down quite nicely. Number 71. Double Rock Camaro. Listen to a V8 for a little bit. there with Black CR1 heading through the tri-oval. That was bizarre. I don't know what that was about. Was like he either licked the apron the wrong way and lost grip. I don't know what that was about. Uh, the Mustang is a lower slower on the longer tracks like this. We made it light but not as powerful. Uh, because it was super overpowered last season. And we're not using the GT350R, we're using the Spec 5 RTR uh, this season. A little bit better uh, weight and power that we had wanted to see in our builds. Everybody has pit. Killjoy out on his own. He's in the Mustang at the moment. I like the sound of this Mustang too. It just sounds sounds so meaty. It sounds so good, though. Yeah, it's kind of lackluster here in this track, but it should be a lot better than everywhere else. Alright, look at this. 
A bit of action going on up front between Rufus and Bowtie. Bowtie looking the outside as they head down towards the tri-oval. Getting that draft, a little bit of speed as they head through. His nose is up to the quarter panel. He's got the bigger ones into the break zone. And they're about the same, but Rufus had the line. He stays out front for the time being. Bowtie still there and under attack. These two get side by side long enough. No GTR. Forte will be right up there. Say potato. Breaking zone in the West Horseshoe. Rufus with a little bit of space now. Still not much, but a little bit of space between him and Bowtie. As Bowtie heavy on the brakes there. different than the normal typical GT machines. It's easier if you uh, break early and then power out of a corner earlier than you would a normal GT machine. You don't have the, uh, as much mechanical and or downforce grip as you would see in a GT machine. Still not bad from the builds that we have. These are probably our best ones that we've had so far. Doing this a while, doing it. Really six years in 14 years All the way back in 2014. And back to the tri oval. To see some door to door action between these leaders. Still only one caution. I know that's curse of the commentator, but only one caution so far. It was at the beginning of the race. And they were all double wide, which wasn't necessarily a, uh, a racing or incident. It was just a, an accordion effect. Possibly a little bit of lag. Back of the pack that spun a car, collecting another. But since then, we've been pretty well off as they spread out through the field as you can see. The leaders might end up actually catching the trio in the back here for the next set of caution or uh, hit windows open. And Smokes gets a great run out of the bus stop there all over the backside of Master Fun Sparky's BMW. Hi for us. And again, that is the third time. Type RS doing great in his Turner BMW to maintain pace with these guys. Just having a lot of fun. Being door to door. Let's see Bowtie and Rufus. Ooh! Big wide. Wide turn there. Oh! Type and Sponge do a little bit of a fender slap as they head through the, the pinch there in turn three. It's a hard place to uh, go side by side, but it can be done. Deceptively narrow. Yeah, visible glass. Aston Martin is back. It's painted done by CPS Diablo, who we're on board with. Did the 09 and the 99. As well as many other cars in the in the field. The TPSR in-house painter. Yeah, get out, get out of your tire. Did I miss that? Oh wow, yeah. Good catch. I look away, and this is what happened. Oh well, it says he's in the lead, but Rufus is actually still out in front. So that's kind of bizarre. 
yeah, the scoring system, not the best, as you can tell. Yeah, Roof is still out in front, probably, I'd say maybe half a second, second out in front with Forte still back in third, but within pouncing distance. Yeah, they're really getting at each other. Which is nice to see. I like to have those battles up front. Bowtie getting a little squirrely there in one. It looked like he loses a lot of ground to it though. And Forte really catches up under breaking in turn one. Those guys. That BMW is going to be a animal at the smaller tracks. Just putting that out there. Bowtie getting squirrely again through the kink. Must be really pushing hard to catch that Rufus. Using up all the track. As much power down as possible. Lucky still in fourth in between the two groups at the moment. Diablo and Shamajor. A little bit further back on track as we ride on board with the Bilstein. 86, Aston Martin. Aston Martin is usually do a pretty uh, decent job mid-pack, as you can see they're doing that right now, in-game as well. smokes that we just missed. Oh, Diablo spins it out of the bus stop. No one else involved. He's back underway. That was a hard hit, but luckily cosmetic damage, so there's no actual severe. A bit of Forza grip problems I'm hearing on the team radio, but it's back underway. Time to uh, catch him a FRH major. It was just up the track. <laughs> they were looking forward to battling each other. About an hour left in this race. We're down an hour. About 15 ish minutes. Pits will be open again for these guys. Pitch strategy and Efficient pit change will come into play. It's not much of a pit change because we're using cosmetic damage, but no, it's not a safety car because we are using uh, cosmetic only. And he didn't collect another car. It is two cars or more to uh, cause an incident. Which it was just him. If you would have collected Shamajor in the process, it would have been a flag in this instance. It is not. Oh, Bowtie 
Jedi is squirrely. squirrely into the west horseshoe there. Mustang and the Camaro as they head through the trioval, completing yet another lap. Back into that Mustang is incredibly squirrely on oh, Killjoy's machine. This is something you do not want to have happen in a Mustang, but it does it so easily. Oh, Black CR1 downshifted on accident there. That'll slow you down. Oh, Killjoy looking to the inside. Doesn't quite get the nose in there. Tries to put the power down early. It's a little squirrely. Oh, drivers all the way up to the wall there. Type for us. Smokes now together on track. This type looks down the inside. This is for. 11th and 10th on the track. Yeah, that Mustang is actually pretty good. You get the rear end of that thing to stay planted, it's very fast, but it just looks like he's having grip problems with his tune. Oh, smokes a little late into the bus stop, slowing type down as well through the apex of it. You can see the leaders now on the back straight, along with these guys in the back of the pack. We'll be catching them in a few laps. Be some interesting bobbing and weaving going on between those guys as Type has the draft going around the outside through the trioval on smokes. He 
Yeah, he's got the position as Smokes has the bigger brakes into turn one, type around the outside, trying to get that run. Close on power at the same time. Ooh, a type a little wide through turns two and three. Off in the grass he goes. He easily done. Done it many a time. Yeah, the touring class is a lot of fun. The, if you think these guys are door bashing, just wait until you see TCR out on track. There's 12th sponge. And first place is your race leader, Rufus. We'll be catching Master Fun Sponge in a lap or two at this this point. Uh, touring cars, we have three signed up, but we need a lot more. Those cars are a lot of fun. A lot of fun to drive. They're front, all front-wheel drive machines except the Audi, but the Audi is a little husky. A little heavy. Raceway. Oh, that was Fun Sponge off in the bus stop. Does nice to kind of stay out of the way for the leaders as the blue flags fly. Grim as he goes around, comes back out on track in a safe manner. That is some good heads up driving by him. These guys are hauling east down and bound. Just want to lap down uh, as the fun sponge did. So, right, right on board with Rufus for a little bit. Cams. All this talking is making me thirsty. Yeah, see that Mustang? Very squirrely out of the corners. He gets that settled down and he'll easily gain another two, three mile an hour by the end of the straight. Some, 
another battle and a card lap down. Looks like Type RS is the next lap down victim for Rufus to conquer here. Go right on board with this. As they head down towards the bus stop. Heavy into the brake zone, into the bus stop. Nose in. Slow and back into the power. Heading through the bus stop. As Type is going to go ahead and give them the low side of Blue Flex Fly. BMW is super quick in that straight line. As they go heavy into braking, tight braking a little early to let Rufus go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want to do that. We'll go back here as Bowtie already made it around. Type as did. Forte. GTR Forte. Just that much closer to Bowtie. Next pit window is at 45 minutes. At the 45 minute mark. My lag or their lag? I'm not quite sure. Probably me. Right on board with Shimajer again. Still 12 cars out on track from the 13 we had start this race. We'll go through the great order as we're a little over halfway. Rufus, who is in first place out on track at the moment, started in, I believe, third. Now up to first and leading this race for the majority, it seems. Second place at the moment is LSEM Bowtie, who started on pole, dropping one position. And we have GTR Forte in third, in third position, losing a position as well. Back in fourth, we have GTR Lucky. Fifth is Major. Sixth is CPS Diablo. Seventh is Racing Mineta. Eighth is Black CR1. Ninth is Killjoy. Tenth is Smokes. Eleventh is Type. And twelfth is Fun Sponge. That is your current grid order out on track. As we'll ride back up front real quick. Top three, still not nose to tail, but they are close enough to each other that they don't need any mistakes. This Rufus is about to put smokes down a lap as they head around. Once again. Chat closed again. That's unfortunate. Let's get that back up and going. Lucky at the moment. 
probably jump up to Rufus as he's about to put down another ass and Martin. Down another lap. Smoke's letting these guys by. I don't know why he's on the apron, but... I guess that works. As we jump on board with Lucky as he's made his way around Sponge. Diablo still within about the same gap between each other. Black CR1 and Killjoy have spread out just a bit with Killjoy out in front in ninth. Any other position changes are going on at the moment. I'm sure that these back markers so far in the field are wishing for that glorious yellow flag, but as spread out as they are, it is unlikely that anything is going to happen, so we're gonna ride on board with the leader of FRA Rufus. Because he still has a lot of racing to do and two guys hot on his heels. Now let's see him bow tie. And GTR Forte still looking quite racy in second and third. I as well. I'm not usually one for yellow flags, but these guys are so skilled and so fast that it would be nice to see a bigger battle come together, at least towards the end. Maybe not at the end end, but towards the end would be nice to watch. Nice spicy finish. Maybe with an uptown mix up. A little bit of a wiggle there from Bowtie heading into the bus stop on the back straight. NASCAR a different roval that they run that where they come out of turn NASCAR 4 here is a another little chicane slow the cars down as they come across the line and into the pit boxes save the brakes trying to keep people from having incidences in a dangerous position game being as old as it is, we won't have that layout. At least for the foreseeable future. No real good battles to be seen. Not on track, everyone is quite spread out. Pilot Challenge series. I'd like to replicate the sister series to the WeatherTech series in the IMSA. Or brother, if you will. GT4 machines and TCR, but TCR is not here on track this evening. Sebring will be next weekend, next Sunday, same time.
dust there. Heading out of the west horseshoe. Oh, we're getting a little squirrely there as well. Rufus, don't give Bowtie some hope. Racing Moretta, right behind Diablo in 7th place, doing well out on track, 8th place of Killjoy, not far behind him, looks like he's putting some work in and catching him. Moretta doing a great job. In the number 35 Camaro. Whoa. Smoke's getting squirrely in the West Horseshoe, allowing Type to gain a lot of ground there. Especially in that draft, it's long and thin. It's slippery, as they say. Smokes does a great job of getting through the bus stop very quickly there, maintaining the gap over time for us. I did it again, that's the fourth time. Close together as Forte does all he can to catch up to the guys in the infield. Definitely see the strengths and weaknesses of each car through this section. That BMW absolutely amazing under braking. McLaren just punishes that BMW on the exit. speeds and acceleration after that are about the same. Looking in fourth, about to catch other drivers. I believe that's Type RS. RS. Got it that time. Nailed it. And Smokes just up the road from him. He's not happy with 
that. <laughs> under braking significantly. Big flags are out for type and smokes for position number four of Lucky. go through. Nice and done. Got stuff driving there. is with these longer races that we do, DCs are bound to happen, Forza servers can't handle this type of racing. begging for a caution. These guys are so fast, so clean. It's hard to have cautions when we're racing so clean. Oh! Champ doing a big slide collecting Forte a bit. But they're pointing in the right direction. They're good to go. Forte even lost a bit of ground. If anything, he gained a bit there on Rufus. Alright, pit window is open now.
first. Looks like. Rufus and Forte. Both in pit lane now. As Bowtie takes the lead. These two will both leave pit lane in plenty of space and time. This guy catches them. Lucky. Looks like he'll go into pit lane as well. Else coming into pit lane as it looks like everyone is in pit lane. Type RS and Smokes both come into pit lane. If you had missed the stream, beginning the stream, it will be highlighted and uploaded to YouTube. The next day or two, it will also be posted on our social media, Twitter, and the Discord channel. 
Let's see those are below. Rufus getting around black CR1 there in the infield. Bowtie and Forte are about to do the same. As it looks like Chimajor got held up somewhere. And Diablo has made up a bit of ground on him as Major is about to find himself some lapped down cars that he needs to take care of as well. the track. Major takes the opportunity to go to round smokes. Put as many cars between him and Diablo as possible. Both are battling for positions with the cars around them. Just opposite ends of the field. Smokes and type. Twisted and mangled mid pack here. Just the joy of racing. Racing the guy in front and behind you, as well as all the other cars on track. The slow and the fast. Just imagine a whole nother class of it thrown in the mix. I will try my dandiest to get the other drivers in the other class to be here for the rest of the season. Let's watch that in all of its glory. by as Diablo now has two cars in between him and the fifth position on track. Gonna have to work to get around those guys as Major has the clean air in front of his nose. Side through there, a little tail whip 
as he gets under power on NASCAR 1. And the hunt is back on for Diablo. This type has the speed in that BMW, especially in the draft. Type breaks a little early. A good sign. Space out in front as Bowtie and Forte. Uh, now, basically, nose to tail for second and third. As pits are completed. Looks like Smokes and Type RS also getting door to door. minutes and 26 seconds left in the race. Battles still yet to be decided. Type and Smokes, Diablo and Major as well as the top three as Rufus basically just said later and left. Bowtie and Forte to their own devices as they are now fighting for that second step on the podium. Forte looking to the left, looking to the right. Trying to find the best solution around that McLaren. quite spread out as you can see with 11 drivers still on the grid starting with 13 having two DCs Sideline. Yeah, that is. 
type as them. These two. Invisible Glass and the Turner BMW. Getting at it as they head through the International Horseshoe. As you have Diablo inching closer to Chimajer. stop that Aston Martin is just so good in those little agility sections on track. together on track. I got very, very upset for a second thinking something happened to these two, but they are still going at it. Yeah, the cinematic views, I, are they're cool, but they don't do the game justice. They're, I wish we had real world replay cameras or something close to it. That way we can keep a better eye on what's going on. I don't need a camera looking at the ground in front of the car as they're going down the track. Or 30 you know, cuts of the car within a second. That's how seizures happen. But we do what we got. Or we do what we can with what we got. It's been a long race, you can only imagine how it is for these guys. They are doing a bang up job at the moment. Rufus doing a grand job out front. There's Lotai and Forte all over each other for the last two dozen laps or so now. Just a few minutes remaining in the race. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to know every particle that's in, in the headlight. Super Zoom. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we get something a little better in the future. Still no real change between Jim Major and Diablo out on track. Or change between Type and Smokes. Black ZR1, Killjoy. spread out lucky out no man's land himself back up front to the battle up front with the top three Rufus out front as you can see him oh is Forte gets a little squirrely coming out of one into two and three there Maybe just keep the point in the right direction and under power. And Rufus still out front. Bowtie in third. Down the grid. Lucky in fourth. 
FRH Amander in 5th, CPS Diablo 6th, 7th. A little further back on track is Killjoy. Black CR1 in 8th, 9th is Typer S, 10th is TPSR, Smokes in 11th is Master Fun Sponge. Bringing out the rest of the field here in round 1 of the Paddock Sim Racing Michelin Pilot Challenge Series. Two BMW sponge, get him a little bit of camera time before the end of the race. Whipping it in through the bus stop, getting a little too squirrely as he corrects himself through the the bus stop into NASCAR 3. As Rufus now going around Killjoy. Killjoy gives him plenty of space on the bottom of the track. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse with that BMW. Killjoy tucking up underneath the wing of Rufus to gain as much ground as possible. Get that little bit of extra time out of the car. Bowtie and Forte still going at it. As Diablo and Chamajor still not any difference in the gap between them. Great battles going on all over track. All different positions. as Bowtie goes a little wide out of the West Horseshoe. It's just inviting GTR Forte to act a little crazy. Yeah, there's a few battles out on track that are pretty intense, but the few of you that are out in the middle... state now. That's going to be a good battle all the way to the end. Five minutes remaining in the race. And cautions are now disabled. So what you got? 
what you wrong. As these two are getting together. As this is still out in front. And Smokes and Type looks like they have just switched positions. Who are all by themselves out on track at this point. So they're good space. But Rufus still has a little bit of traffic ahead of him with Master Fun Sponge. As they go into the braking zone of the West Horseshoe. Yeah, Minetto disconnected about 20 minutes ago or so. That's two DCs, unfortunately. As Rufus takes the inside line. On Master Fun Sponge. Sponge, sponge. Dives back underneath the wing. Asking for the toe. As they are all about it. Jump on board with this battle now. and CPS Diablo Aston on Aston Violence. Less than five minutes remaining in this race. Rufus. Alright, Rufus still out in front. Going a little wide. The exit of the infield. Looks like something happened there with the major. Looks like he collected himself and is. Well. Bowtie. In second place. Oh, Master Fun Sponge. Off track there a little bit. Right next to Forte. Forte losing a lot of ground there to Bowtie as he made his way through the traffic on the infield quite nicely. Major, oh, looks like Master Fun Sponge hit the tire wall there in the bus stop. What's going on with him? He is still stationary. Last lap. Last lap for everybody. As the white flag is now flying. Right on board with Rufus for the last lap. Yeah. You could be in the same class or one of the TCR classes in your safety car. Rufus through the International Horseshoe for the last time. Diablo had a little bit of a tire spin, I'm hearing, through the bus stop. As they got one more lap back on board with Sir Rufus as he's heading. West Horseshoe, heading heavy on the brakes, back out of the infield onto the oval.
intensifies We're right on board with the leader last time through the bus stop it will be FRA Rufus LSEM Bowtie and GTR Forte as they go across the line Check the flag is out. Rufus takes the win. And fourth will be GTR Lucky. Lucky seven. Major in fifth, but that battle is not decided as of yet as they head down towards the bus stop. As they head into and out of the bus stop, Diablo goes a little wide. That last ditch move. NASCAR 4 down the straight, Diablo with the toe. It's not gonna be enough. FRHM Major will take fifth, Diablo in sixth, Black ZR1 in seventh place, eighth will be Killjoy, ninth will be Type or uh, TPSR Smokes, and tenth is Type Fun Sponge in eleventh. That is your final grid position. Fun Sponge doing his finishing donuts. So that is your top spots on grid. And that will be the race. Okay. Thank you everybody for tuning in next weekend. We will have another race. Whether I'll be commentating or not, I do not know. Uh, so look for our streams in Assetto Corsa and more Forza. Alright, goodbye everybody!